Hey everyone, I'm Chloe and I'm one of the physiotherapists here at Vector Health and today we're going to be talking about stretches and stretching to relieve lower back pain. So as a physiotherapist, one of the most common questions I get asked by patients is why do I need to stretch or is stretching really important? And my answer is always yes, 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 yes. And this is why I'll tell you some of the benefits of stretching. So one of the benefits is that you can prevent injury and relieve pain. Uh, stretching can increase your range of motion, taking pressure off the joints so your body can move more fluidly and easily. And as a result, you can prevent injury or pain to then live a healthy lifestyle. So the second benefit is that stretching can improve circulation. Stretching improves circulation and blood flow to your muscles, which then increases healing time and productivity of the muscles as well. And it can help better increase your recovery time by um, filtering the byproducts through your muscles. And a third benefit of stretching is that it can relieve stress. Uh, stretching can also be used to calm the mind and the body to reduce stress levels together. When you're feeling anxious or worried or really stressed, uh, it puts lots of tension on your body. So all your muscles and that kind of contract and shorten and then they're all very tight. So stretching then elongates the muscles and can relax your body, dimming down those uh, stress levels as well. And the most important thing to stretching is stretching before and after exercise as well. This just gets your body prepared for exercise and then winds it back down after you have done a workout. So this first stretch is called the child's pose. Now this really elongates our muscles in our lower back where people tend to get that lower back pain and hold a lot of tension through this area as well. So with this exercise or stretch, it's just leaning back your bottom on your heels, reaching as far forward as you can and getting a good stretch in the back here. And so we want to be holding these stretches for about 30 seconds and doing these around twice a day. And then to get target your side of your spine, you then start moving to one way. So over to your left as far as you can, feeling that stretch on your side and going around the other way. Okay, so the second stretch for lower back pain really stretches through your hips and again your lower back. So with this one, it's just laying down on your back, bringing one knee up and trying to bring it as close as you can to your chest without your hip turning up or tilting up. So keeping this nice and straight, pushing your lower back into the ground and bringing this knee to your chest and hugging yourself. For again, try and hold these for 30 seconds. And if this becomes comfortable, you then start to bring your leg over to your opposite chest side. It should feel a little uncomfortable with the stretches, but not painful. And then repeating these on the other leg as well. Another stretch for lower back pain is called the sphinx stretch. Now this one needs to be very gentle and you have to be very cautious of it. So it's starting on your stomach first of all and it's reaching up and pulling up and getting a good stretch in that lower back as well. And it also stretches your core where you can hold a lot of stress and tension where you do have that lower back pain. And if this feels okay with this stretch, you can slowly start to increase it by straightening your elbow. And then again, if this is easy, you move your hands closer to your hips, but keeping those hips really down towards the ground. So this next stretch for lower back pain is called the piriformis stretch, which just is just a little muscle uh, under your glutes here, and it tightens up a lot when you do have lower back pain, and it tightens up your hips as well. So with this stretch, it's bringing one leg up and over your knee. Now you can either keep a nice straight back and lean forwards and get a good stretch in this other bent leg. So you should feel it behind your thigh here. So leaning forward, or it's a little bit easier to do this laying down on your back. 
bring that leg up and over, interlocking your fingers behind your knees and bringing this leg close to your chest. And then swapping and repeating on the other side. And you'll find if you have pain on one side of your lower back, that same side will be stretching a little bit more than the other one, which is a good indicator that it is working. Okay, another exercise for lower back pain is just a laying down and twist through your lower back. Now this tends to elongate your muscles at the back and realign your spine too. And it also another positive is that it aids in digestion. It gets things moving along as well. So it's just lying on your back, knees bent up, arms to the side, and it's just keeping those knees together, twisting it to one side. And then back up, and then to the other. And just holding this stretch here, looking to the other way if you want to make it a bit more difficult. So the opposite way to what your knees are going. And if that, one, that previous stretch isn't providing enough stretching to your lower back, you can do this next level, which is putting one knee up and over, bringing this arm around and doing a twist and turn with your body here. So again, just stretching into some discomfort, but never any pain. And then repeating on the other side. And this last stretch to relieve lower back pain is just the basic lunge. Now this is really good for opening up our hips and stretching our quad, which can contribute to back pain. It also can relieve psoas muscle, which is a deep muscle in your back that connects to your spine. So just keeping hands on your hips if you're stable. If you're not, you can put your hands in front of your knees and then it's making sure your hips are nice and square. So square meaning that your belly button is facing the front, not angling out and down. So taking it to the front and you're just providing a little bit of a stretch forward, making sure that this front knee doesn't go over our toe and it's holding that deep lunge. So you should be feeling it through your quad and through this front hip here. and then repeating that on the other side. So with these few exercises, I hope you can use them as tools that you can take out of your toolbox when you do experience some lower back pain or discomfort.